So, um, hey everybody. Sorry I haven't been posting as many videos lately. Um, I've been very, um, just kind of tied up in everything with things going on in my life. And so I haven't been releasing videos as frequently as I would like. I had shot a few things, uh, you know, you know what I mean, like video wise, I've shot a few things that I have been planning on releasing, but I haven't yet. And I don't know if I will. Um, I spent some time with my friend a couple days, you know, yes, today I spent time with him. And then I think one time last week I spent time with him and, um, it's just kind of like, um, I don't know if I want to release them or not. We were just having fun and it would be a vlog. Um, so yeah, anyways, the topic of the, the, uh, the topic today is, you know, why am I always bored or why do I always feel bored? And I have told many people, um, you know, that I'm bored. They ask me, Hey, what are you doing? How are you today? And I'm just like, well, I'm bored. You know, there's just, there's nothing to do really where I live. I always feel like, um, no matter what I do, you know, I really don't feel happy. I don't feel any joy. Um, I don't really feel satisfied, you know, as far as my boredom goes. Um, so pretty much even if I am doing something uh, that I enjoy and that I have as a hobby and that I like to do, it's, um... You know, it's not really something that cures my boredom. It doesn't help it, really. Um, there's only one exception I can think of, and that is when I am traveling. If I'm traveling or on vacation and I get to see and do new things, that does help. That helps a lot. Uh, being able to go to my grandfather's house in Pennsylvania uh, and just you know, spending time with him and, and with the family and, and, you know, that's like some of the best, um, best things I've done recently. I mean, it's not been this year, but last year, the year before, I've always had such a great time seeing my grandfather, seeing, um, my family, just been spending time with them, you know, <laughs> making jokes and, there was um, a, a song, America, uh, that, that that we laughed at uh, a couple of years ago with Hunter. Um, and, you know, it's just, it was fun. Had a great time, got to go to Gat or not Gatlinburg, that, that was a different time. Uh, got to go to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. That's fun, just seeing all the old buildings, being around all the old things and all the historical landmarks it's that that's amazing and i often get excited and my boredom is temporarily um you know it's temporarily lifted i guess you could say when i'm doing these kinds of things um but other than that other than traveling and getting to see and do new things and hanging out with family and you know, things like that. Um, that's really about the only thing that I have done or found to kind of make me not feel bored, okay? And, you know, of course, I love spending time with everybody that I get to spend time with, you know, family, friends, um, if I just meet you out and about and, you know, you, you're nice to me and respectful, I enjoy those little moments. I, I do, uh, but I can only enjoy them so far. I can only enjoy things uh, so far as to kind of what my mind allows me to. And what I mean by that is just because I find I like it and I enjoy it does not mean I feel joy from it or feel happy from it, okay? It just means it's something I like to do. Um, because most of the time, like I said, I don't feel happy. I don't feel um, 
satisfied as far as my boredom goes. And I think it's more to do with mental health problems uh, that I have. And it's it's not really anybody's fault. It's not really something that somebody can do to uh, help with. And if I get people that um, want to help me with it, you know, I appreciate it, I do, but I don't know if it will help. Maybe it will, I could be wrong. Maybe there might be something you can suggest that might help me, or maybe, maybe not. I mean, maybe it's just something that I'm going to have to deal with and slowly work on, go to therapy, things like that, and slowly um, get better at. Something that I have to do, not something that somebody else can do for me. Um, and I'm starting to realize things that, you know, that people cannot help me with, that, that only I can really help myself with, okay? And I'm not saying that that everything that I worry about, that everything that I have, I'm not saying that everything, that I'm not saying that all of those things can be um, cured. I'm not saying that all of them can be just washed away, you know, magically, right? I know I need to work on them. And I know that I need to follow up with healthcare professionals, you know, my doctors, things like that, to to use them as you know, as they're meant to be used. And I don't I don't mean in a bad way, I mean they're doctors, right? And when they decided to become doctors or therapists or whatever, they they basically they want to do that. They want to help people and that uh, expertise that, you know, um, a therapist wants, probably wants to help somebody feel better about themselves and, and help them get better control of their anxiety and, and find things that can help them. So, um, you know, I'm a Christian and I believe that um, God puts people in other people's lives to help them. He puts everybody... And some he he puts everybody's life in your life for a reason. Um, for you know a doctor, he puts that doctor in your life for a reason. Maybe you uh, maybe you have a cold or the flu or something, right? So maybe you know God kind of says, oh you know, here's a doctor. They're gonna help you with it. And I know that some of you may not believe in God, and that's fine, but. You can't really deny that uh, doctors are there for a reason. Uh, same with anything. Same with any kind of job. Same with any kind of profession. You know, it's there for a reason. So, um, sorry if I'm getting a little bit uh, winded in my speech. Sometimes I get so... Uh, I, I think so fast, I cannot produce the words fast enough. Because my mind, it's like, it's like constant. It's, you know, it's always going no matter what. And I can't keep up. My words cannot keep up with the pace that I am thinking at. Um, and, I, you know, I've been tested for like ADHD and things like that. And as far as I know, I don't have it. Um, I think it's more that I'm told I'm pretty knowledgeable just because I love to learn, and that's all I do really, is I learn about anything I can. Um, I think knowledge is a good thing, but, you know, being happy is also good. You know, it's important, right? So, I need to focus more on that aspect of things. And so, I just think that depression and my anxiety and, you know, how I feel as far as always being bored... It, it all ties in together, okay? Um, so, yeah, I might say, you know, yeah, I'm bored. You know, there's nothing to do. Okay, well, there may actually not be anything to do, but it also may be that that's just how I feel. Maybe I am doing something, but I still feel bored, okay? It's not my fault. It's not your fault. It's just It's just how it is. So I hope that maybe you can relate in some way with me. Um, that, you know, you might feel bored all the time. And 
I would definitely encourage you that if you have any of these kinds of problems or anxiety or anything, definitely reach out to your doctor, um, family, friends, things like that. Get the support you need. Get um, help, you know. Um, first off, never feel ashamed about getting help um, because it's only going to help you, you know. If you're not happy and if you want help, get help. Um, because at the end of the day, yeah, somebody might think it's weird or, you know, oh, you know, you'll get, you're getting mental health help. Uh, what's wrong with you? Whatever. Well, that's just their opinion. And, you know, it's none of their business, really. Um, it's great for the people that do support you, but for the people that only put you down and only try to, uh, you know, get you upset, don't listen to them. They, um, they're just, they either they don't understand, or maybe they're having a bad day, or, um, maybe that's just their personality. Um, I mean, it's, it's sad, but it, it, I guess it's true for some people. Um, so at the end of the day, do what's best for you. Don't, don't worry about what's best for, uh, other people, because what you do is only going to help you. It's not going to help, you know, your mental health. It's not necessarily going to help, you know, your friend or whatever, you know. Um, so, yeah, just, um, you know, try to get help. Let me know if you guys um, feel the same way or if you have any thoughts or questions or any kind of comments whatsoever. I'm going to be doing more vlogs like this, more vlogs uh, in general. I'm going to try to continue uploading more content. Um, I would love to be able to travel one day. But um, we'll see. When I do travel, of course, I'll take video. I always do. Uh, and uh, don't don't forget, guys, if you guys need help, um, there are plenty of services and people out there that will help you. Uh, just reach out to them. So that's going to be all for today. Like this video, share it, comment, subscribe if you want more videos. Um, and I hope you guys just take care and take care of each other. So... Um, I guess I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.